Okay, so while I was just li literally about to go to bed at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. or rather, um, EA decided to release some pitch notes. Um, and I made a video on this yesterday. Um, quite perfect timing for myself. Now, I'm not going to delete the video. I'll leave it there anyway so you guys know my opinions. Um, now, put this now in a more better, I suppose you can say, um, easier to read. Um, we're going to focus more on the gameplay stuff. So... They've increased the ball travel distance on manually requested clearance. We'll come back to the rest in a second. This one was, um, I'm presuming they did this because, or maybe when you're clearing the ball, sometimes the ball wouldn't go as far when you're under pressure. And maybe, maybe that's why they've done it, or maybe that's one of the reasons. This next one, which is the big one, which I suggested yesterday, which was slightly increased jockey turning speed when moving at slower speeds. The key thing is, is turning speed when moving at slower speeds. So this will help those that just use the normal jockey button, which um, I think the game should actually continue punishing that. My general thing was to move the, to increase the jockey speed kind of all over, but they've done it just in a specific scenario. So, I mean, it's understandable, but I think those who just use a jockey button and don't use the running jockey um, to control the speed may struggle a little bit, but this will help the average person at the end of the day. Um, improve the defending. Slightly reduce the ball travel on ground and driven ground pass performed with ping pass or ping play play style plus. If any of you saw a tweet that I made, um, I made a tweet like uh, some time ago and I thought, you know what, let me just upload it now actually. Um, I, I talked about the meaning an overpowered mechanic and it was using two play styles and what it was, it was a combination of the play style plus, so you can see, let me show you some of these examples. So you can see this is the playstyle um, plus of a pinged pass. So you see the pinged pass, I'm able to get the ball quickly into those areas. And you can see, for example, in some of these situations, um, you can literally get the ball to the attacker so quickly. And with the first touch playstyle, you can turn very quickly. So it's quite good that they nerfed the speed of this pinged pass because I thought they were unbelievable. And it was even better if you had a centre mid and you play a locked onto the strike and move them into a unique position. Um, that was absolutely insane, but you can see that if you want over there, that is basically on my Twitter. If you're not following me already, let's go back here. That's the one I don't like to read. It's a bit difficult to read that. Um, then they've done, so they've, in, they've in, slightly reduced the ball speed, should I say, performed by players with a ping pass and ping playstyle plus. I think it was just a playstyle plus, which is what the issue was, not the normal playstyle. Um, increased likelihood of player using a long throw, uh, to be selected for far throws, okay. I think that's pretty pretty much says what it is basically I, I didn't really notice it. i didn't really use that i i didn't really use a long throw trait plus i just did regular long throw it was all right uh precision finesse shots can now consider an aiming input that occurs right before the ball is hit i'm presuming before this they never had that or maybe it wouldn't go where you'd want the ball to actually go maybe um but that's a good they added that one in Improved visuals for the ball carry situation where a red card Foul has been committed during a breakaway. Improved visuals for the ball carrier. Okay, I don't really care about that. Okay, so they haven't just tr adjusted finishing or 71 depth. Is there anything over here? So these are these ultimate team issues. We'll come back to this again. Um, now, these, these are the issues that they have addressed. So hopefully they're in here. So sometimes the goalkeeper run past the intended location running out, when rushing out of goal. I don't think this is moving around the goalkeeper. You know when your left stick around goalkeeper is very simple. I don't think this is it. <clears throat> I think this is when... The goalkeeper would just run out and then the ball would just be some would just go past and they wouldn't even do anything. Uh, players without the intercept play playstyle plus could have performed contextual sliding interceptions. Interesting. So they've nerfed defending like this. Wow. So they've actually nerfed interceptions even more. That's interesting. Ping pass, unintentionally impacting first time passes. Yes, I was very much aware of this when I was practicing abusing that into the ground. Some of those players could have made inauthentic movements when trapping the ball. Um, trapping refers to a player attempting to control the ball and receiving it. On some rare occasion, a player could show their run for a moment while when attempting to trap the ball from a pass. I can't say I've noticed that. This issue, issue was more common when receiving precision passes. The drag back turn skill did not follow the input angle as intended upon exit. Um, some of the player could have taken a touch of performing a requested first time chip shot. So, okay, so a lot of these, to be honest, are just more of animation things. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any, uh, rather than going through this, I, I was just seeing if there's anything that may help you guys or maybe of 
for information to you. Uh, when attack when a, a tackle when a, when the attacker dribbled straight at the defender, the defender can sometimes tackle the ball in the dribbler's path. Okay, that'll be interesting. Um, that's interesting. Um, this is then this is referee logic. Um, slide attack animation did not play correctly. Mentioned this yesterday. Thank God. Thank God that is being adjusted. Um, I hope I hope this is what I was talking about yesterday. Um, stop and go. That's like the um, that's the kind of like a fake shot stop, where you stop the ball and you face the goal directly. Nice shot could result in a ball pass to defenders foot during a tackle. Um, during the matter could disappearing. Is this the invisible players? Maybe. Um, Follow a contextual sliding pass. Sometimes the control player will not automatically switch to the tender receiver. Follow the results in the ball being passed. Sometimes the control player will not automatically. Okay, I've not received any of this. And moving player. This I've actually noticed. If this is what I think about, but this is for set plays only. I noticed this in normal play. Um, that's interesting. I can't say for a set piece. I've actually noticed. I'm too busy trying to worry about the free kick with the goalkeeper in those situations. Um, I think that is pretty much it. Some cases a, a player a player feet could have looked. That's not important. Following, um, well, it is, but goalkeeper unnaturally transition to another. And, and, okay, here this is an interesting one. But I was wa more wondering about goalkeepers not being buffed in certain areas. They're either trash or amazing, which is not good. But celebrate passionately in some scenes after making a significant save cares about that um when jogging <laughs> reduced okay so a lot of these um are just visual changes but i don't think a lot of this is important this is all a lot of, a lot of these are visual changes which i don't really care i care so it's not that much gameplay changes in the real there's a few gameplay main changes i still think they got to just finishing asap <clears throat> i mentioned this in yesterday's video so yesterday's video from what I can tell is pinged passes, which I have not really mentioned, but I think they know about that anyway. Ping pass needs, has been done. This is a good thing. This is a good thing. This is obviously a good thing, but I, I don't, can't say I've used it. Um, so is this. But no other... No other stuff. Nothing on 71 depth being adjusted. Nothing on finishing being adjusted. Um, if we go here to ultimate team... Had a headbug. Now, she had issues. Um, now it's been fixed. So that because before you couldn't use it on the bench, it would just mess up the game. Okay, I think that's it. Um, so yeah, there's still a lot of things. I mean, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, go watch it. You know, we talk about a lot of these things. Um, hopefully, talked about the things that I was talking about, like the things like slice. I was referring to slice tackles and stuff like that. One thing I don't like is interceptions being nerfed. Um, I, sh I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. Well, this is actually like, yes, it's 13 hours ago. I'm, I'm the same person here. Just haven't slept. <laughs> um, but I'm kind of upset about the interceptions. Um, I wish. I don't know how I feel about this one. Players without intercept form contextual sliding interceptions. I don't know. I think we'll have to test this out. You know what? The truth is, we have to test a lot of this stuff out. Um, truth, time will tell when the game comes out. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. I'll let you guys know once I've done some testing, and then we'll probably see where we go from there. But yeah, probably time for me to hit the hay, and I'll catch you guys later on for a video, probably in about another twelve hours time. But for now, good evening or good morning for day starting, and have a wonderful day.